Bye-bye. Welcome to the Main Event Broadcasting Network as we sit down today with graduate assistant and men's lacrosse coach Sumner Gaius to talk about his new role with the team. Sumner, thanks again for joining us. Appreciate your time here on Absolutely. the Main Event Broadcasting Network. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, talk a little bit about kind of your transition now from being a player here for the Lions to now coaching uh, starting this summer and now what you've been doing here with Coach Dutton. Yeah, so it's it's been an interesting transition going from player to coach. Uh, obviously, there's some areas that could be a problem, you know, after coming and playing with a few guys and then coming back and coaching them. Um, but I've established a pretty clear line to them and that's helped. And then also having, you know, Coach Dutton backing me uh, with pretty much everything I do is definitely a big part of it. Yeah, absolutely. George, you spent a four-year career here uh, with the Lions. 21 wins to your name over your four years. Uh, so a really impressive kind of a four-year run. You were part of the inaugural class, though, too, here with the Lions as well. What does it mean to be one of the inaugural members of that class and then now to coming in as a coach for the same program? Um, it's a big deal. You know, starting off the program, you, you definitely want to see it grow to something uh, bigger and better than you had it. Um, but also it's kind of given me the experience uh, building a program, and that's kind of where we're at now, rebuilding. Um, but I think that experience is going to be huge for us. Yeah, of course, you lost the, the whole, whole senior class that you had last year. It was about 10, 12 guys uh, that you lose from that class, including yourself. Uh, but a lot of big, big name players and Nick Green and Spencer Ortiz, kind of the offensive guys. Uh, some really big pieces for you. Um, so now stepping into this year, first year with uh, Coach Dunn, you know, what's the main focus for you guys coming into the spring? Uh, the main focus is really uh, playing for each other. You know, we're going to ask guys to be in different roles. Some attackmen will play midi and vice versa. Um, but we'll also look to the older guys to kind of be the anchor. So I think just rebuilding the program is really our main goal um, and getting in good shape because we're such low numbers. Yeah, and for us, you know, in the entire department, we've all kind of known who you are. Uh, you've worked with the marketing, uh, you know, kind of association to be able to promote the athletic events here at Piedmont College. Uh, talk a little bit about, you know, kind of what you ex gained from that experience now that may help you in the coaching aspect. Uh, the biggest thing is connections, you know, actually knowing all the coaches, yeah. working with them kind of, hands-on during my senior year has definitely helped moving forward because they're a resource for me to go and ask for help. Absolutely. Now stepping in, of course, with Coach Dunn, his first year here, uh, coaching philosophies. Talk a little bit about that. What's the, what's the new look Lions going to look like? Uh, it's going to be different. Um, you know, he's bringing a lot of experience from up north. Uh, he just finished a 15-year career over at LaSalle, so him coming down here is going to be big for us. Combining with kind of my coaching philosophy uh, during the summers, uh, it's going to be an interesting mix, and I think that we're excited to combine the two and get something good going. Absolutely, and you're going to be serving as a graduate assistant on his staff, uh, so you're going to be pursuing your, your graduate degree here from the Graduate School of Piedmont mm -hmm. College. Talk a little bit about what you're going to be doing there on the academic side, too, and how that can kind of help you future. Yeah, academically, I'm, I'm looking to get my MBA, so that's going to help me as I continue on in a career in business, maybe, mm -hmm. um, but also kind of helps me with managing a team, in a sense. Yeah. And uh, this, the staff we have for the academic side of thing is great as well, also a good resource for us. Yeah, of course, you received your undergraduate degree here in business is, uh, from Piedmont College as well. Uh, now, stepping forward into this season, uh, you know, we've already talked recruiting, we already talked a little bit of philosophies and things like that. Face-offs, specifically, that was kind of your specialty here yeah. while you were here at Piedmont College. You know, for the fans out there who don't know too much about the game, it's kind of growing new here in the South. Talk a little bit about the dynamics of that specific part of the game and what you learned in that part. Um, I really learned a lot from example. Um, you know, watching a lot of YouTube videos, we never had a coach to specifically look in on face-offs, which we will have now. Um, I'll kind of take over that yeah, role. Yeah. Um, but it'll be great for us. We've got a few athletes. You know, we've got one freshman and one transfer coming in that I think will probably get the nod for facing off. Okay. And uh, really both pure athletes, not a lot of technique there, but it's going to be good to get some technique under their hands and see where they can go. And talk a little bit about specifically the technique of face-offs. Like, what's the trick? What's the secret? It's, uh, it's a little bit of a chess match, you know. Okay. There's, a, there's a few moves in each guy's arsenal. They've got their bread and butter, and then, you know, a few other ones. Uh, so I think technique-wise, it's really just trying to outwork, outsmart your opponent, and that's kind of a, a we call it a grit. It's a grit factor, so okay. how hard you can you know, use your technique, but also if you lose, how apt you are to uh, get the ball afterwards. So right. it's a little bit of a chess match. All right, so you know, you're a graduate of Piedmont College. Tell us the biggest thing you learned here in your four-year career. Uh, biggest thing I learned, uh, probably connections are everything. You know, I, moving through Piedmont College specifically, such small class sizes, you really have the opportunity to, you know, meet with teachers and get to know them on a deeper level than, you know, my, my brother's at UGA, and he doesn't even know most of his professor's names. <laughs> so. Um, uh, really getting to know guys, uh, especially in the academic side, but also in the athletic side, getting to know coaches and meeting with them, um, learning their philosophies and trying to tailor mine as I grow. 
Absolutely. Well, Sumner, we appreciate your time here on the Absolutely. Main Event Broadcast Network. Good luck this season. You start your career. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thanks again for joining us here on the Main Event Broadcasting Network as we sat down today with graduate assistant men's lacrosse coach Sumner Gantz. We'll see you next time here on the network.